Hey, welcome to the show. Today in this show, we're going to be adding some fractions with mixed numbers. But before that, I got a question for you. Why are cows good at math? Because they use a calculator. <laughs> All right, I'll stick with the math. Um, that was my best joke of the day there. Let's take a look at this. We're going to be doing this problem and then eventually we'll move over to this one. But uh, let's just take it step by step. Easy cheesy, lemon squeezy. I always like to set up my problems, you know, if it's um, kind of going up and down, it just makes it a lot easier for me to work with. I'm taking a look at this. I have three and four sevens plus four and four sevens. This is your whole number right here. This is your fraction. Right here is your numerator and that's your denominator. First thing I look at is the denominator. I just love that name, denominator. And I, I see if that denominator is the same. And if it is the same, you don't have to do a lot of work. All you have to do is just add the numerators. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add the numerators. What is 4 plus 4? 8. So I'm going to put 8 right here. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. I'm going to put 8 right here. And I'm going to keep the denominators the same. If they're the same, just only the denominators. If the denominators are the same, keep it the same. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put 7 right there. And then I go ahead and add my whole numbers. I have 4 plus 3 equals 7. So I have 7 right there. So this is my mixed number. Now, if you got an ego eye, you're probably noticing that this number right here, the numerator, if that number is bigger than the denominator, you got to change it because it's called an improper fraction and we need to make it a proper fraction. How do you do that? We're going to be dividing that. So I'll show you how we're going to divide that. I'm going to do a little figuring over here on the side here. So I'm going to take my 8 and put it here and put the 7 right there. All right. So how many times does 7 go into 8? One time. So I put 1 right here and then 1 times 7 is 7 and then... I have a remainder of one. This right here is my whole number. This is going to be my numerator and this is going to be my denominator. Now, when you do that and you kind of get a little mixed up, well, it always has to keep the same denominator. All right. So this is one and one sevenths. All right. So that's what that would be. So now I'm going to rewrite eight sevenths as one and one sevenths. So I'm going to take my 7 right here. The 7 didn't change. It's still the whole number. So I have 7 plus 8 sevenths is equal to 1 and 1 sevenths. So 1 and 1 sevenths. This, is, this has the same value right here. I didn't change that, but this was an improper fraction. I just changed it over to a proper fraction, and now it's a mixed number. So now it's really easy. This is a whole number. That's a whole number. Add the whole numbers. So that would be, I'm going to write that answer right over here. So that would be 8. And then I put in my fraction, 1, 7. There's the answer. Cool. I like doing these uh, little problems right here. I mean, you're kind of using division, you know, and, and you know, addition. It's just, just fun. It's like a puzzle. So you got to treat math like a puzzle. You ready to go work on this other one? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, if you want to, try it on a piece of paper. Hit that pause button. And when you're ready to check it with me, hit that play button. All right, let's go for it. Six and three fours plus two and one six. Right away, what do you notice? Take a look at the denominators. Remember what the denominators are? The denominators are the ones on the bottom. Those are mix. Those are just different numbers. We need to make them the same. All right, so. Remember, um, I'm sure you were probably dealing with fractions before when you're adding fractions. And we need to find the least common denominator of 4 and 6. Now, if you don't remember that, let me just do a little refreshing. Um, I'm going to put a little squiggly line right here and do some figuring. Here's my 4 right here, and there's my 6. Now, I'm going to do multiples of 4. So, 4 plus 4. 4 plus. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Now, as you get more experience, you're going to be like, hey, that 12 right there, uh, I think it has something in common with the 6. You're right. Because 6, plus, six times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12 right here. All right. 
They both share that in common. And so that's what we're going to turn the denominators into. All right, so it's easy, cheesy to work with. All right, so let's go ahead and um, rewrite this here. So we know the denominator is going to be 12. So I'm going to write 12 right here. And I'm going to put 12 right here. All right. How many times, what times 4 equals 12? 4 times 3 equals 12. So remember, whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do the same thing to the numerator. So I'm going to take times 3 up here. So 3 times 3 is 9. So we go ahead and put 9 right there. Now let's work on this one right here. 6 times what equals 12? 6 times 2 equals 12. So 6 times 2 equals 12 and times 2 here. Remember, whatever I write here has to be the same right there. So 2 times 1 equals 2. A 2D tot 2. All right. So now I have, I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. Let's, let's clean this up a little bit so we can take a look at this. So I have 6 and 9 twelves. So I'm going to put that right here. 6 and 9 twelves plus 2 and 2 twelves. 2 and 2 twelves. All right, we're going to add these. This is kind of like what we were working with over here. And I mean, this is a doozy of a problem. But now we have the same denominators. The value of this fraction right here is the same as that fraction right there. The values did not change. 3 fourths is equal to 9 twelves. 1 6 is equal to 2 twelves. The value of that did not change. We're just kind of just making something easier to work with. So let's go ahead and add this right now, all right? 9 plus 2 equals 11. That's my numerators. I'm adding the numerators. 9 plus 2 equals 11. 12s, keep it the same. The denominators, are, if they're the same, keep it the same. I'm going to put 12 right here, and now add the whole numbers. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Don't be late. 8, hey, 8 is great. So I put 8 right there. Now let's go ahead and check this little fraction out. Can it be simplified? Nope. Is the numerator on the top? Smaller than the denominator? Yep. Can we do anything more to it? Nope. You can add a little smiley face maybe to it to say, hey, I did it. Yay. That's it. That's your answer. How cool was that? Hey, I'm going to have a lot more um, fraction videos on there to help you guys out. And you could help me out by checking out that link right here. That's to my new station called Dino Math. On that channel, we have everything related to dinosaurs. We got Beyblade X's. We got mathematics. We're doing mathematics and dinosaurs together. I'm talking really fast because I, 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 I had a little sugar today. Um, but we're t it's dinosaurs and mathematics put together called Dino Math. But um, check out that channel. I'd sure appreciate it um, going over there and hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the subscribe button to this channel. Oh, my goodness. I'd be so happy. And uh, if you need any help with any math, Put it in the comments down below. And then after that, get outside and do some playing. It's a beautiful day out there. And uh, yeah, just take a walk, go for a bicycle ride, uh, look at the squirrels in the trees, do something. All right, have a good day out there. And we'll talk to you later. Adios, goodbye.